Hello, I'm Nick Higford from Pickering Interfaces, and in this short video we will examine automated fault insertion switching and its role in hardware in the loop simulation. Electronic control units, or ECUs, are used in a prolific range of electronic products. An ECU usually relies on information from a set of sensors to decide how it should function. These sensors are often working in hostile environments, such as a car engine bay, and failures often occur in the sensors and their interconnections due to corrosion, aging, damage, or even faulty installation. ECUs are commonly used in safety critical applications that demand highly predictable behavior. The failure of an ECU to act in an appropriate manner under emergency conditions could pose a threat to life and property. For example, if a jet engine controller had an unintended shutdown, this can have a major impact on the personal safety of passengers and crew. Ensuring these demands are met requires significant investment in test and documentation. Typically, ECUs under development are exercised by a test system which simulates the real-world environment in which the ECU will operate. This is known as a hardware-in-the-loop simulation, or HILS. Stimulus instrumentation simulates the ECU's sensor inputs and measurement instrumentation is used to capture and verify the ECU control outputs. Safety tr critical controllers will usually go through a certification process where a series of faults are introduced and the ECU response is checked to see that it operates in a safe and predictable manner. To inject the faults, a manual patch panel is often employed. Cables are used to connect the ECU's I.O. lines to stimulus and measurement instrumentation. The I.O. lines may be disconnected to simulate open circuits or tied together to simulate short circuits to ground, voltage sources or other I.O. lines. An engineer moves the patch cables to simulate a desired fault and then measures the results. However, this arrangement has many inherent disadvantages. One obvious issue is size, as patch panels tend to be large. The operation is also slow and prone to error, leading to a lack of repeatability. Being able to quickly and precisely reproduce the failed test condition is a major advantage, and automating this type of test secures the best way of producing a traceable report free from human error. The ability to gain software control of both instrument routing and the insertion of real-time electrical faults greatly enhances the testing process. Pickering Interfaces was the first vendor to introduce PXI switching systems designed specifically to address fault insertion applications. Our range of scalable solutions may be used in place of a patch panel to switch signals from simulated and real-life devices in a HILS system and can help to considerably simplify and accelerate the testing and verification required. The principle of fault insertion is simple. The switch modules intercept wires between the test system and the ECU and either pass the signals through unchanged or add a range of fault conditions. As an example, here is a simple fault insertion switch with six I.O. channels. Under normal conditions, the through switches between the test system and the ECU under test are all closed. Faults can then be injected as follows. I.O. connection disconnected. I.O. connected to one of two fault signals, usually ground and VCC. I.O. connections shorted together by the fault bus. Pickering's catalogue of over 60 PXI fault insertion modules all work in basically the same way, but have a wide range of specifications to suit specific ECU I.O. characteristics, including high channel counts, multiple fault buses and signal connections, current handling up to 40 amps, and bandwidths to support high-speed differential signals such as CAN and Ethernet. The modules are all compatible with real-time system software such as National Instruments LabVIEW RT and Veristand, or MATLAB's Simulink. To add flexibility to Hill's fault insertion applications, we also supply a modular breakout system which combines small patch panels with our PXI fault insertion modules. A user can experiment by manually injecting faults into the system using the patch panel terminals. And once they are happy with the results, the test connections can then be automated by the associated switch modules. In conclusion, fault insertion switching is an important feature of an ECU test and verification strategy, especially in safety critical applications. 
There are many choices of modules tailored to different ECU capabilities. More information is available at this URL and your local Pickering representative can help you with your specific Hills test strategy. Thank you for your time.